Hi and welcome back to Tatpriya Books. Now when you are a regular reader, you often want to find fresh new voices to read. Uh, well, this is because let's face it, classics aren't really about our world anymore and same is the case with science fiction or fantasy. This quest to look for fresh new voices has often led me to the bookshelves of a bookstore or a literary review page or even to the book podcast. Now, one of the podcasts that I religiously follow is the New York Times book review podcast that I have been following for over 10 years and across three hosts and which has led me to a lot of great books. That's a video for another time. But what I really wanted to talk about was the recommendation that I heard on this podcast recently for a book called Pineapple Street by Jenny Jackson. What caught my attention was that the recommendation said this was a book about rich people. So books about rich people isn't really a new thing. When you think about it, large parts of War and Peace and Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy is really about filthy rich people from the 19th century. We're always attracted to them. There's something deliciously attractive about the lives of rich people. We go read the lives of middle class or poor people to feel their pain, but we leave, we read the lives of rich people because we want to somehow vicariously live their life or to judge them for living such an ostentatious life. It is against this background that Jenny Jackson sets her book Pineapple Street. She knows very well these twin attractions that readers normally have for the lives of rich people. The story of Pineapple Street is really a story about this family of generational wealth called the Stocktons. The family lives in the fruit streets of Brooklyn Heights in Manhattan and the story is told from the point of view of three main female protagonists of the family. It's the daughters Georgiana and Dali and the daughter-in-law Sasha. Their lives are shown in intricate detail and along with all the complications and all these lives intertwine at some point in the story. And this is very interesting and there is character development happening in the book. But this is not probably why I think the book is doing so well, because it is. It's been on the list of New York Times for a while now. I think that it's doing so well because of the writing. And let's talk about it. Let me elaborate. Jenny Jackson approaches this story in an easy conversational style that reminded me of a comedy night special, which has humor running through it, but is also approaching serious problems without actually being preachy and somehow also shows both sides of the divide equally well. I burst out laughing in so many places during this reading of this book. And it's really difficult to do that when you're reading something. And I should give kudos to Jenny Jackson for being able to do this. The language catches the zeitgeist of today's time so well that it keeps it fresh and approachable to new readers. But what really made the book for me was how sympathetic Jackson was to her own characters. This is not a judgmental book about the decadent lives of rich people, but Jenny Jackson actually gets inside their lives and shows us how they are dealing with the same kind of problems that you and I are dealing with. Do I need more money? Am I living a privileged life? Or even does my mother-in-law like me? These are questions that like I said, you and I are dealing with, but the Stockton seem to be dealing with it at a different scale. I came out think, you know, actually feeling very sympathetic about the Stockton family. And when you read the book, I really want to know through the comments whether you felt the same way or not. Okay, before I end the review, I have to give a special shout out to Marin Ireland, who was the narrator of the audiobook version of the book. The voice and diction that she brought to the narration was exactly what the prose needed. Now, overall, I, there is no doubt that I enjoyed reading this book. This is the kind of book that you can get through in a week and it will leave you with just enough important questions for you to ponder or discuss with your friends. Thank you for watching Tatparya Books. If you like this review, please hit the like button and leave us a comment in the comment section below. And please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified about future videos. Until next time, bye-bye.